your counsel asked me to produce a contract. Is that the contract that you testified about? I guess it is Mr. Jerome's signature. Who is he? He was the treasurer. When did you prepare this exhibit, Plaintiff's Exhibit Q? A couple of months ago. And this accident happened when? 1994. Did you make that from any records? As far as I remember it, it is exactly as it looked. You are relying on your memory? If you get the plan, I will show you exactly it is like that. Did you prepare it from the plan? No, not from the plan. When you prepared it, you did not see the plan? No. You relied solely on your memory? Yes. Did you rely on your memory of the plan or as you saw it at the time of the accident? On the plan, because I have been handling the plan every day for six months. You did not rely on your memory as to how it was at the time of the accident? Yes, on my memory of how it was at that time. You remembered this exhibit based mainly on your recollection as to how the building was at the time of the accident? Yes. Do you remember how many planks there were leading in from the sidewalk? There were four rows, but how many joined, I don't know. All the way through, it takes about 50 feet it might be 30 planks. I don't know how many are required. You're, uh, you think there might have been 30? I didn't measure how many. The thing is about 50 feet from the street up to the path, but it would require three or four rows of planks. You are talking about figuring it out on the basis that it is so many feet from the sidewalk and would therefore require so many planks. Yes, if you have the plank 30 feet long, it would require not even two. That is how you constructed this exhibit? Yes. You estimated it was 170 feet from the sidewalk to the inner part? No. About how many feet was it? About 50 or 55 feet from the sidewalk to the end of the wall. From the sidewalk to the end of the inner wall was about 50 feet? Yes. You couldn't go any further. Your recollection is that it would take about two rows of planks to get there? It depends on the length of the plank. What was the length of the planks in this case? The plank I stepped on would be about 38 feet long. The planks which led into the entrance to the building, how many of them were there? Two on each side, 12 inches wide. Let us begin from the sidewalk. There were how many planks on the day of the accident resting on the sidewalk? On the sidewalk? Yes. I didn't see any on the sidewalk. Didn't some ends rest on the sidewalk? Ends, yes. You say there were four planks resting on the sidewalk, the ends resting on the sidewalk. Yes. How long were those planks? I don't know how long they were. I didn't measure them. How could you properly prepare this exhibit? I have two sections. Maybe that the planks were different, but the beam is spaced over eight feet with two spaces, you have a 16-foot plank, and the last one, you might not be able to use a 16, so you would have to cut it off and make it 14 feet. You were the one who put the cases, the beams in? Yes, sir. You were there that day after doing that? Yes, sir. Did you go daily, or was it twice a week? twice a week, and three times a week. When you began, did you go every day? Not every day. You gave directions and let the work go for a day or two when you would not go down there? Yes, if I want to see if everything goes right, I might make a call to go up there 
to the job.